Okay, we're getting ready to do the crank here for uh, this motor here. So we're going to pull the crank apart. Here's what a crank pin looks like when you get it out. And I got some tooling I made years ago for doing this junk. So this is fixturing that holds the flywheels and the press so that you can press the pin out. The whole flywheel will drop down. And that's how you do it. So these aren't worth rebuilding because they're piles of crap. So that's the crank pin. There's what the flywheel looks like when it comes out. They look like that. So we got a crappy crank there and another one up here. The rods get tight and these things what happens. All right, so I'm gonna put a little press on this. So 24 tons is my best crank yet, which is way over here. The welded crank was 12 tons of junk. Most of the stock cranks are between 17 and a half, 18 to 24. Most are in the 20 area. 2022 seems to be a common for a good crank. So we'll see how good this crank is. So. All right, let's see here, put that right there. Seven isn't enough. All right, we're going to crank this pig up, see what it takes to pop it. All right, so we're gonna. There's our tonnage up there. It'll go pop when it pops, probably. It's 12, 15. I a piece of crap. There's 12, 10. Now we're done. It's down to eight now. So this pops on out. And it'll drop down if you like it. Should hold it so it doesn't go pop on it. Press. Put your fingers there, it hurts. What they make inner tapes for? Text things a little bit, besides my fingers getting nailed. Whoa. It never fails to get interruptions around here. Here, hold this. I gotta send this weight out of the way. Okay, pull it out. No. We're never open. Okay, there you go, let it down. You see it? Okay, so now we get this out. Now the rod should just slip off, but this rod will slide up and down a little bit. At least it was. And this rod here was tight. It wasn't moving. It had a little bit of notchiness to it because they're out around. Okay, these are so tight, they'll see they won't slide off like they're supposed to. They're pressed in pretty much. Okay, now we're going to flip it around and press it out the other side out. Drop the whole rod set out. You'll do the same thing. Watching the tighter. Would that black one go to? Do we see where it dropped off? There it is. Okay. Tend to do it. Fifteen. Seventeen again. 17 times. Alright. 
change that one out. It's got supposed to slide a little tight. That's why I say they're no good. I think how tight the rods are. Playing on the cage ain't good for it. Let's see here. A little bit tighter than that. All right. She's snug. All right, what are we going to use to press that out with? Think my nut will work? Probably not. Nope. It's bigger than that. Anything around here the size. I'm taking a hammer. A hammer. In doubt, get a bigger hammer. So we'll see before we drop some of my toes. Alright, so if I stick it right there on the edge, let's tap it out. They're out, you pull them out and see if they're rebuildable or not. If you have any flaking in there, they are not rebuildable. There is no replacement parts from Harley available and no aftermarket supports it. So this rod here is rebuildable because it's not flaked. See? Now if you get it before they start flaking, you can save these things. So this one here. Looks like it's rebuildable also. Okay, so I'm going to go over there and see how much out of round it is and do a little honing. We'll be back. Okay, we're over here at the hone here. I'm going to do a little clean these rods up. So I got my uh, appropriate amount of washers in here and playing around I'm trying to get it where I can measure stuff here. So basically, it goes on there and you measure it, and the dial goes up to where it goes to. And you rotate around and you see how much out around it is. So right now these brass washers drop down. I'm going to push them up a little bit. Right now i got it set kind of at zero. It's only got about a half a thou out around, which is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting to see a thou, a thou and a half. So that one was a tight one. And this one here seems to be the same size. We're pretty close to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a hone it. Make it a little bit rounder, open it up, and get it goes on and off the bearings here like it's supposed to. Get things loosened up again to fit correctly, so it'll rotate. Okay, now, washers all up where they belong. So, why did all this stuff change on me? Back like
around about three tenths of it on there. the same size. Okay, now we want to see if it'll fit together onto our rod. Still not going in very easily. Put our bearings back in there. Take our crank pin. Should just slip right in here, no problem. But it still is not. So it's back being tight again. So I cut out uh, about six tenths of a thousand still does not want to come out. Not sure why everything's so tight. These bearings don't feel like they're bad, but don't know. All right, I'm gonna hold them out just a little bit bigger. I don't make them too big, though. stuff up. I'm going to try a different crank and different bearing to see if the problem is these parts or what. So I'll be back. All right, we're back. Okay, so I swapped bearings out. These are two tenths smaller or a quarter thou smaller, so it gives me a half thou more clearance. 
the ones he had. The crank pin's the same size as the other ones I got. And I hung the rods out so that they're more equal length, more round and square. Go back over and show you. So they're a little bit bigger too now. So if you look at it now, see how they don't. Add a damn washer below down there. Start at three tenths there, and you go like that. See, it stays the same, pretty close. So now it's round. If we started at one tenth under max to five or six over, so you had about five half a thousand around originally. So we're about three tenths, four tenths bigger than what it was now. So it'll give me some more clearance, and then we use a half a thousand bigger on the bearing. Opens everything up, so you got some clearance in it. Now. So basically. It will move now. Still a little tight going together, but it's all right. Crank pin on the workbench. That's where it's going to sit, which is about there. And you can hear the clearance. They both have a little clearance to them. That's what you want. So now you can slide the rod side to side a little bit too, like this, without too much effort. Things are kind of binding up in this thing, but. You know, they go back and forth now like this, see. Alright, so we don't have to have a big hammer to take apart anymore. Okay. The other problem we got is freeze plugs. They seal up the end of the crank pin, so the oil will go through the holes right here and not out the back side over here. So this one fell out and we have to swedge it out a little bit bigger and then put in with some sleeve retainer Loctite. This one here is not falling out yet, so I'm not sure if it's going to come out or not. So we'll put a sock in there and hit on it and see if it moves. Extension. We'll see if it comes out. Uh, yeah, it comes out. Yeah. Usually do. See right now there's no press fit on these things because the crank pin is not in the flywheel. So these have to be swedged out a little bit bigger to make them like new again, and then we'll put them in the sleeve retainer Loctite so they'll stay put. Now I clean out the crank pins in here, it's all full of grungy junk you don't want inside your motor. So one way to clean out is you got to take the plugs out anyway. Alright, so we got that like that. We're going to put together without the pin in there for now. Now the pin has to go in with the oil hole, lines up with the flywheel, so you got to make sure that lines up. That is important. What are you doing my clean towel? Stole it. Alright. Get our clean towel. Wipe all the oily crap off. Make sure everything's clean. Okay. First thing I do is mark a hole so I know where it's at. So it goes right here. So that needs to line up with our fly when we push press it in. Okay. So take all our stuff. Do some pressing. Alright, we'll be back.